Hi, welcome to Santosha Rose. My name is Sam. And today's Yoga Basics video has a focus on shoulders. So whether you're wanting to loosen tightness in shoulders or just increase flexibility, this is the perfect video for you. I hope you enjoy it. See you on the mat. start today's practice in a tabletop position so hands and knees and taking this first couple of breaths to really set the position here so we want nice wide fingers knees hip width apart and feet tracking in a straight line with the knees so we have train tracks with the lower legs we're going to press away from the yoga mat here. So we're lifting the upper body as far away from the mat as possible. And you'll feel a slight engagement coming there through the core muscles. So this is a more active position than it might look. We're just going to breathe here. Feeling the breath coming in, the breath going out. You're going to lift the left arm up, opening up on the left hand side. So reaching the hand as high as it wants to go. So maybe for you, it might be at more of a horizontal line. Maybe as you start to open up in the shoulders, we'll get more of a stretch up towards the ceiling. We are going to thread this hand through. So coming all the way through the gap between the knees and the right hand on the floor. Coming down onto our left shoulder. And maybe the side of the head will come to the floor, maybe it won't. We're going to reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Feeling that openness coming through this right hand side, then taking it behind the back, coming over towards the left hip crease. And breathing here. Then reaching the right arm all the way back up to the ceiling before we plant it down pressing into the right hand as we uncurl, left hand comes up, opening up on this left hand side, and then bringing the left hand down, back next to the right, tabletop position. We plant down with the left hand and lift the right arm. So again, maybe lifting to the horizontal, or lifting all the way up towards the ceiling, then threading through this right arm, coming down onto the right shoulder, maybe the right side of the head reaches down. We lift the left arm up, opening up the chest, and then taking the left hand towards the right hip crease. Breathing here. And lifting the left arm all the way up first, and planting down through that left hand, pushing the weight through the left hand, we uncurl, the right arm lifts to the ceiling and all the way back down to the floor. Fabulous. We can take the hands out in front. So walking the hands out, keeping a straight line from the knees up to the hips as we walk the hands in front, coming into a puppy posture. So we're melting the heart down towards the mat here feeling that stretch starting to come through the shoulders breathing into any places of tension you can feel in your shoulders and then we're going to end through the elbows bringing the elbows down onto the floor and the forearms become these two train tracks so we bring the hips down coming into our sphinx pose so we have a straight line from elbow up to the shoulders and the forearms in straight lines coming forward and just take the gaze in front here and create as much space as possible between the shoulders and the ears so we're not collapsing down losing our neck nice long neck gaze forwards and breathe You're going to bring the hands one on top of the other, sending the elbows out to the side and then bring the forehead down, crocodile pose. And just breathing here, noticing 
how the breath feels different lying on your tummy. Feeling that awareness in the body. Fabulous. We're going to take the right arm out and create a cactus arm. So creating a right angle um, at the elbow and then bringing the left hand underneath the shoulders. We're going to roll over onto the right side. So keeping the right arm where it is, bending just gently in the knees and feeling that stretch starting to come through the right shoulder. And only moving as far over as feels comfortable, being able to feel that stretch. You can bring the side of the head down onto the floor if that feels comfortable for you. And breathe. We're going to slowly come all the way back onto our tummies and take the left arm out this time onto that right angle. Bring the right hand underneath the shoulder and then we turn onto the left side, bending in the knees. Head can come down to the floor if that feels comfortable. Just opening up in this left shoulder. And breathe. And coming slowly and with control back onto our tummies. I'm going to take the hands down by the sides, palms facing up to the ceiling, forehead comes down. We squeeze the shoulder blades together and as we do so, the head, shoulders, chest lift up off the floor, then lifting through the hands and feet, gaze staying down towards the floor, the hands and feet reaching towards the back of the mat, then slowly lowering everything down with control. We're going to bring the hands together above the tailbone, taking a clasp and doing that same thing again. So we squeeze the shoulder blades together, head, shoulders, lift, and then lifting the hands and feet, this time lifting the knuckles up off the tailbone. And we slowly lower everything back down. I'm going to change the clasp of the hands, so bringing the other thumb on top, the more unusual thumb. And this last time we squeeze the shoulder blades together as the head, shoulders, chest lift off the floor and then lifting through the hands and feet, reaching the hands and feet back towards the back of the mat. And then lower everything back down, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, pressing into the hands, we're gonna come back into child's pose. So taking the hips all the way back and maybe stretching out initially and then maybe bringing the hands down towards the feet or creating a pillow for your head by bringing the hands one on top of the other. And breathe. Now bring the hands to the soles of the feet allowing the head to come down onto the floor as we tip onto the crown of the head, lifting the hips up, keeping the hands on the soles of the feet, feeling that stretch coming through the shoulder blades in our rabbit pose. Sending the breath to that space between the shoulder blades and then slowly lowering the hips back down. We're going to come back through into our tabletop position and take the hands a hand width further in front. So you tuck the toes, lift the knees up off the floor, sending the hips up towards the ceiling, downward facing dog. And being really gentle here, so paddling out through the knees, bending one knee, bending the other. And then we're gonna bring the feet together, stepping the right foot through, in between the hands here, bringing the left knee down, untucking through that left toe. We're going to plant down with the left hand, reaching the right arm up towards the ceiling, opening up. Then slowly bringing that hand back down, checking that straight line from the right heel to the right knee, then pressing into that right foot as we lift with cactus arms. 
So bending at the elbows, hands facing up towards the ceiling, palms shining forwards. And opening up in the chest here as we squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then bringing the hands back down to frame the right foot, we tuck the left toe, lift the left knee, send the right leg back, downward facing dog again. And again, you can have that pedaling, that little bit of movement in this down dog if that feels good. Pressing into the hands here. We bring the feet together, we lift the left leg up, stepping it all the way through between the hands, lower the right knee, untucking with the right toe, planting down through the right hand, we lift the left arm, which is up, maybe following the gaze all the way up to that left hand. And then bringing the left hand back down, we check that straight line from the left heel to the left knee and rise up with cactus arms. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening up in the chest here. And then bringing the hands back down to frame the foot, tucking the right toe, lifting the right knee, send the left leg back to join the right, downward facing dog. I'm really feeling that sense of lift here through the hip bones, pressing into the palms. And then we lower the knees all the way back down, taking the hips back on top of the feet and we lift the upper body up, coming into our thunderbolt pose. And breathing here. You know, reach the right arm in front, taking hold of the right wrist with the left hand and then just bringing that left right arm over to the left hand side, feeling that stretch coming through the right shoulder blade. And being very gentle with ourselves here, we're not yanking our bodies around. Then releasing everything here. If you reach the left hand in front, taking hold with the right hand onto that left wrist and then gently guiding that left hand over towards the right hand side. And breathe. And release with the arms, just taking any kind of movement that feels good here in the shoulders, maybe lifting the shoulders up, circling them backwards, forwards, whatever feels good, then we're going to take the heels over to one side so we can come back into a cross-legged seated position. I'm going to bring the left hand down onto the floor uh, on the left hand side, reaching the right arm up and coming over, feeling that stretch coming all the way down the right side body and keeping as open as possible in the shoulders here so we're not sort of collapsing forward. We're lifting, rising up keeping the right sitting bone grounding down to the floor. We bring that right hand all the way back and over as the body comes back up, planting the right hand down, the inhale lifting up the left arm, exhale taking the stretch over towards the right hand side and keeping that sense of openness through the shoulders. And breathe. Bringing that left hand down as the body comes all the way back up. I'm going to take both arms in front, bringing the right arm underneath the left arm. We bend at the elbows so we can bring either the back of the wrist together or keep that circle going, binding twice to bring the palms together into our eagle arms. You know, lift the elbows up as much as we possibly can and then take the hands a little bit away from the face. These are both quite subtle movements. We're really feeling that sense of stretch coming through the shoulder blades. Breathing into any tightness that you can feel there. We're gonna release the hands, taking them all the way out to the side, 
feeling that real stretch coming, reaching as far away from as if you're taking the hands in opposite directions and then coming all the way back to the front. We take the left arm underneath this time, either binding once so the backs of the hands come together or twice we loop round and the palms touch. And that same thing of just slightly lifting up through the elbows and then that very subtle movement of the hands away from the face. And breathe. And then releasing with the hands, we're going to take those arms all the way back out again, reaching out to the side and then coming back in with the arms, just bringing them to rest gently on the knees or the thighs. You have that sense of expansion through the spine, grounding down through the sitting bones, lifting up through the crown of the head. Breathing here, feeling that spaciousness between the ears and the shoulders. Bring the palms together in front of the chest. We close our practice together. Namaste. Thanks so much for sharing your practice with me today. If you enjoyed it, do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know how you found it in the comments below. See you again soon.